Chickens, pigs, yeah. uh, a lot of neighbors. Yeah, just like home, honey. Well, <laughs> well, look, you know, I didn't know that uh, the south of France was so rural, though. <laughs> and incidentally, we didn't just drop in. No? No. No, we are the bearers of good tidings. <laughs> what, do you, what? What is it? I think I'll wait till Laura gets back, so oh, yes. I can only tell it once. Yes. Okay. It's great. You're going to love it. It's great. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you never look better. Oh, Laura, darling, you didn't have to dress just for us, honey. <laughs> dress. This is what I wear to do the chores. Speaking of oh. chores, you people are going to be a great help in our old age. Uh, surely you make a joke. My knowledge of farms stops with a farmer's daughter. <laughs> I might have guessed that. You know, have you stopped the hogs today? You know, that's where my real talent lies. Hey. It does? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pure yes. high five, Beverly Sills with dive embarrassment. Oh, yeah. Come in. Oh, morning all. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh. I see you got company, so I won't stay. Oh, no, no, this is not company. They just came to slap the hogs. This is uh, Robert and Tiffany, our neighbor, <laughs> Millie hi. Colnick. My pleasure. Well, I guess you know what I brought you. Uh, no, we don't, but I don't think anything could surprise us now. What is it? Well, your Thanksgiving turkey, of course. Oh. I bring the Whitakers their bird every year. Oh. A turkey? That's great. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's really lovely. Thank you. Uh, I suppose you left it out in your truck or something. Look, why don't you go get it out of the truck and we'll put it in the refrigerator? Uh, it's out in the yard. Uh, she's a hen turkey. You left a turkey just laying there in the yard? Mm -hmm. Where else? She'd certainly raise Holy Ned if I put her in the icebox. <laughs> uh, this is just an idea, but I think Mrs. Colnick is trying to tell you that the thing is still alive. Uh, alive and kicking. Squawked its head off all the way over here on the seat next to me. <laughs> I envy you so much. You know, there is nothing like a fresh killed turkey. Uh, yeah, there's just, there's just one thing. Laura and I just, we're not into plucking turkeys, are we? Um, don't look at me. I couldn't even swat a fly. Oh, don't worry. Tell Buford he'll take care of it. Oh, good old Buford. He likes to kill things. Well, uh, <laughs> nice to meet you all. Nice yeah, to meet yeah. you. Oh, bye, bye If I don't see you again, have a real nice Thanksgiving. Thank you. Oh, I always stuff with chestnuts myself, but each to his own. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for life. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, apparently you won't be spending Thanksgiving with the Webbers. We kind of thought you might. Yeah, well, we wanted to, but uh, we just can't get away from the farm with all the, char all the chores here, you know? Yeah, speaking of chores... It's time to get on the move, baby. Robert, you're gonna love Bessie. Uh, well, 
Well, whatever Bessie is, I'm sure I can be, I can wait to meet her. Listen, we got some news for you. It's important. No problem. You tell us in the barn but, while we're gathering the eggs. Uh, what? Gathering? Gathering mm -hmm. eggs, feeding chickens, milking cows. I slapped the hogs, right? Slapped the hogs. Hey, this is going to be a fun day. Come on. Come on, kids. Come on. Come on. Okay, Mouse Club members, here's your mash. What? Mash. Chicken feed. Chicken feed. Just throw it at the chickens and duck. Look, I did not come all this way to share news with a whole bunch of geese. It's gaggle, honey. Gaggle of geese. I don't care what it is. I, I, I couldn't give a damn what it is. Listen, do you or don't you want to hear this news? Well, I guess so. All right, barnyard buffoons, take a break. Pull up right. a bale. There. Yes. Now, I guess you're wondering why I gathered you all here at this point. Oh, Robert, come on, get to the point. All right, the point is this. Where are you, you going to live when you finish your honeymoon bit? Robert, this honeymoon will never be finished. Mm -hmm. Well, Why it, do you ask? Well, it so happens that the rent on my penthouse is paid up till January, and it's yours. You're kidding. No. You would do that? That's wonderful. That'd be sheer heaven. Uh, sheer heaven, yeah, but I'm sorry. No, it's out. It's out? How come? Because our friend lives there. You know, and three with he is definitely a crowd. Uh, four, darling. I'm downstairs, remember. I rest my case. You're right. But listen, your friend has anticipated your objection, and he has another place to live. You do? Yeah. Where? Aboard the Titan. The what? That's right. The Titan. <laughs> you mean the boat's in? Yes, sitting at the dock, soaking up morage fees. Oh, you're kidding. How does it look? Oh, it looks beautiful. It's absolutely marvelous. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> marvelous, beautiful. Just like a Park Avenue model. Beautiful, expensive to keep, and useless. Ordinarily, I'd agree with you, but I think Marjorie Mayne here has come up with an interesting idea. What's your idea, Marge? You have? Well, yes, darling, I do have a few ideas every now and then. What is it? <laughs> well, look, I'll let her tell you, but look, just let me add that I think if this works out, it could be an interesting little living for all of us. Okay, Marge, you're on. Well, my idea is to leave the boat exactly where it is. Leave it tied up to the dock and open it as a showboat. Showboat? You mean like as in Old Man River? Oh, no, 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 darling. <laughs> Not like an Old Man River. I was thinking something like an elegant cabaret, you know? Bring back the big band era, you know, where music that people can dance to and with each other. Yeah, it's a nice idea, Tiffany, but, you know, a cabaret, it would cost a fortune just to change the boat. No, no, love, look, most of the changes would be interior, right? Like ripping out walls and building tiers for tables. We could do that ourselves. We? As in us? Well, look, I may not know much about slopping the geese and milking the pigs, but, you know, I can handle a paper. <laughs> oh, yes, darling. And once we're, uh, we're open, I can be a great big help. You know, I could uh, probably entertain there myself once or twice, just to make Comedy sure act. that we have an, yeah. an overflow crowd, you know? <laughs> <laughs> look, you know, I still say, even if you did work on it together, I think that you'd probably use up all our money before we could even open it. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, baby. If we lived on the boat, we could, you know, we could save a lot of money because we'd probably work there about 16 hours a day, maybe more. Right. What, you mean we'd live there while you were tearing it apart? Sure. What an adventure, right? And especially that way we wouldn't evict uh, our friend here from his penthouse. I'm sure that he wouldn't have offered us his penthouse if he considered it an eviction. Well, I know that, but uh, I would consider it an eviction, so that's out. You understand? Sorry. But Understood. Thanks. Fine. Thanks. A cabaret, a floating cabaret. I kind of like that idea, you know? Since I killed Disco in Fort Charles, you know, because, <laughs> no, I did, you know I did. It's over and I did it. And since I killed it, there's not been a hot spot in the city. Oh, you know, this would be much more elegant than a, a disco, you know. I was thinking more like understated elegance for the main one. You know, mm -hmm. like maybe uh, peach walls with fabric, you know, and matching linen mm -hmm. and fresh roses on the edge every day. Carpet, yeah. I like that, you know. I like that kind of understated, what you call it, elegance. elegance yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It hey, bit me. Who did? What are you talking about? Beady eyed thing coming in feathers. It bit me. <laughs> Robert, you mean a chicken bit you? <laughs> you just want a to chicken do bit me. Yes, darling. That's not this isn't funny. <laughs> 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 I might never play the kazoo again. Give him a break. Don't, yeah. don't make him sick. Take it home with you. <laughs>